Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day and I have a massive $500 grocery haul for you. I did some stocking up at Costco, went to my local grocery store so if you're excited give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually do five videos every single week. Down in the description box you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free Facebook group, we'd love to have you join us, are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this massive grocery haul. So first up is my big haul from Costco. I did a stock up on all of the things that we were completely out of. So let me show you what I picked up from Costco. First thing is garbage bags. We always buy them at Costco. They're much more affordable. I like the scented ones because they have a little bit of a floral kind of fresh scent to them and it helps with stinky garbages. So I got those. I was so excited that they had the makeup remover wipes back. So I bought two because they only had about 10 boxes at the Costco that I went to. So maybe they're discontinuing them again and I panic. So I bought two. This will last me a very long time. I also got a pack of toothbrushes for Troy. He likes the more medium than the soft. And this was on sale for $10.99. I also got, of course, my real good lightly breaded chicken strips. Always buy these at Costco, such a better deal. And then I did get some lunch meat. This is a mix of oven roasted turkey and uncured ham. I think I'm going to pick up some roast beef at Kroger when I go this week, but this will definitely last us a while. I like having the turkey because it's high protein, low fat. I also got myself a four pack of deodorant. I'm almost out of my deodorant and I have no backup. So this was also on coupon. And these are new and these were on sale for less than $10. I'm so excited for these. These are the organic tossy crunchy snack bars. We have almond blueberry, cashew coconut, and peanut dark chocolate. High protein, low sugar. They are 110 to 140 calories a piece and have over 12 grams of protein. So I'm so excited to try these out. Again, that's a new product to Costco and they are currently on coupon. I got some more fabric softener because I think we are pretty low. I also got the Thomas English muffins. This is $9 for four packs, which is a really, really good deal. We just throw the other three packs in the freezer. I got a restock of Troy's lotion and I've actually been putting this on my scars because it's unscented. So it's good for extra, extra moisture. And this is also currently on coupon. Same with the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Spray. I actually have one can left in my pantry, but I stocked up on this because this was $10 for two cans, and these are the really big cans. I also got Troy's favorite bread. Again, we throw one loaf in the freezer, one loaf in the bread box. One of the main reasons I ran to Costco was paper towels because we are out from our spring cleaning this last weekend, so I picked up paper towels, and I'm also almost out of plastic wrap. So I love this one from Costco. It lasts forever and you get two packs for around $13. I also am almost out of my vitamin C. This is just chewable vitamin C so I picked that up and I used up all of my little Swiffer dusters. These work so good on my blinds. This is what I used to clean my blinds this last weekend. I think we have one left so I bought another pack. These were also on coupon. This is Troy's favorite pasta salad ever and it only comes out in the summer so I picked that up for him and also some Tillamook cheddar cheese slices. Cheese at Costco is just a really good deal. Sam's Club actually has a better price on lunch meat and cheese, but Sam's Club will be my next run since it's closer to Lola's Chemo, but I had to pick some sliced up cheese. And also it's about to be mosquito season at boot camp. So this was on coupon for $12 for three, which I paid $7 for one last year at Fry's, my Kroger store. So I picked that up. That way I don't get 20,000 mosquito bites when I'm working out. I did grab some blackberries. These were $1.89 a pack. So that's an amazing deal. And then this huge two pound, is it a two pound? Yeah. Two pound pack of strawberries was less than $3. And then I grabbed a big bunch of bananas for $1.99. So that is everything in this big stock up haul from Costco. This was $272 worth of groceries. It doesn't even look like it, but we know how expensive groceries are this, these days. So let me go ahead and jump into what I picked up at Kroger for the rest of the week. So here is the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at my local 
Kroger store. I'll go ahead and insert a quick clip here of some amazing, amazing drink deals, and then we'll jump into the haul. I did pick up five 12 packs of Diet Coke. Right now at Kroger stores, they are buy three, get two free. So it was $20 for five 12 packs. And the Gatorade eight packs, the big bottles are $4.99 with a limit of five. So I went ahead and bought five Troy drinks, the sugar-free Gatorade or zero sugar Gatorade. These drink prices are unheard of. So definitely grab them while they're on sale. You can see I picked up quite a bit of meat. They had some really good reduced meat prices. However, I did need a flank steak and I couldn't find anything reduced. $13.77 for a little over a pound, but it's a nice lean cut of steak and I actually need this for a recipe. So I did bite the bullet and pick up meat at full price, which I really don't like to do, but I did find, like I said, some really good deals. So I have a two pound pack of 93 seven ground beef for $8.44. That's about $4.20 a pound. That's amazing. And then I found a pound of 99% ground turkey for $4.47. This is a good deal, but not the best deal. This is 96% ground beef, one pound packages, 552, normally 850. So $3 off a pack, which is not bad. So I did grab two. And then I found this pack of chicken breast. This is just the no antibiotic chicken breast. This was reduced from $15 to 937. And I'm going to pop this in my instant pot for Lola for chicken for the week. Like I always say, Kroger has the best reduced meat section. Definitely stop by when you're at a local Kroger store. I picked up two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then I did a restock on my regular Fairlife milk. I am just about out. I have a really fun recipe coming your way in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, and it actually needed light coconut milk, so I picked that up. I did go ahead and grab Troy some roast beef. I picked up the turkey ham package from Costco, but he wanted roast beef as well. So I just grabbed a pack from the meat section. And then I picked this up for him as well, just a quick, easy snack. It's broccoli, a ranch dip, carrots, and a cheese stick. It was reduced to $1.70 for really great to take, especially if you're out and about. I also grabbed this for him. This is just the red potato salad with egg. I always stop by the deli. They typically have reduced things as well. 376, so not bad. I grabbed some three minute big pack of jasmine rice for Lola. I put this in the microwave and then I do chicken, shredded chicken breast, and then she eats that the days after chemo when she doesn't eat her kibble. That way she's at least getting in some nutrition. I needed some corn tortillas for a recipe. I also picked up another good culture a cottage cheese. I only have one left and this was on sale for $4.29. And of course, this seems to be a weekly occurrence and that's the Cheez-Its. This time I got the regular though. I like the extra toasty regular. It's my all time favorite. I like these as a carb snack, a crunchy snack. I'm not a big chip eater, but I do love a good Cheez-It. So I picked up another box. These are also on sale for $2.99. I stopped by the Reduced Bakery and I got these vanilla iced loaf cake for $3.04. So I really like these. So I picked him up another pack. And then they had the apple strudel fruit bites. These ended up being $1.15. So I grabbed those. Some chicken broth for a dinner recipe. And then they had some good deals going on on their candle. So these big jars from the Candlelight brand right now are $3.99. That's a great deal. So I grabbed the Tropical Fruit Melody and the Island Bellini. These are so good for summer. And then all of their Candlelight brand of wax melts were $1.49. And if you bought 10, they were only $1 a dollar a piece. So that's an amazing deal. So I had to buy 10 of them. I got saltwater lotus, pink shoreline, sunlit mandarin berry. I actually got two of those because I really like that smell. Creamy vanilla swirl, two of the tropical fruit melody, which is the same as the candle. That is so good in summary. A apple cinnamon crush, an ocean blue mist, and a salty blue citron. So again, a dollar a piece if you buy 10. So again, the best price you're going to find. And then for produce, I grabbed some more mini cucumbers for the week. If you know, you know, we love our mini cucumbers. I needed a red onion for a recipe, four limes, a yellow bell pepper, and a bunch of fresh cilantro. So that is the rest of this week's grocery haul. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here is what is on my menu for the week. So I'm making carne asada street tacos. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. I'm super excited for that. We're going to do a pizza night because I got some pizza crust in my Imperfect Foods order. And then I did not make the enchilada tater tot casserole this last week. So we're going to make that this week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So I'm making protein packed 
overnight oats. I've been craving a cold protein breakfast since it's so hot here. For lunch, I'm doing honey chipotle meatballs. Also super excited for that. And then I'm going to be making little energy bites, which are great, portable, easy, easy snacks. And again, don't require any cooking. So that is a huge win. So you'll see all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Costco and my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. Definitely some really good deals happening at Kroger stores right now, especially on drinks. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to stop by the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We'd love to have have you. Happy Saturday. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.